Wow. Um, when we talk about the difference between um, Federal Republic of Nigeria and United Kingdom, these are what uh, makes those impact. Um, if truly we want to make impact as a leader in any part of the 36 state of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, then we need a very good local government to be able to uh, put in the finest brain. Uh, we've just come out from the All Women's Network. And this is what the building looks like from outside. And as you can see there, uh, that is the library. Uh, we need uh, all these type of um, infrastructure to be in place to be able to help um, all the 774 local governments in Federal Republic of Nigeria and that will make a big impact to the lives of those that really matters. Um, I might not be able to go in uh, but that is the library as you can see. Uh, this is just one out of so many local government uh, right here in United Kingdom and we need so many of these as well you know to make that big impact uh, we've got the library there we've got the gallery we've got the conference we've got the cafe and right inside um, you know this is what it is looks like but the most important thing is um, as we're all um, praying which I know prayer is not just gonna be the only thing to solve the problem of Nigeria we also need to um, engage you know um, on ground whether in the politics in the media you know in whatever we can do to bring that change you know to those that are really crying for the change back home um, this is just one local government out of so many where they have the finest brain i've just come out from back in uh, dagenham uh, building you will see so many it's a very diverse uh, you know culture so many people working tirelessly to make impact uh, I'm sure a lot of you saw the video as we were doing the live coverage at the all women's network where we were able to show you um, actually they you know they're repairing you know maybe some some work here that's why you have to go through the other side to get in but this is the back in uh, town hall where so many lives have been touched you know you know it doesn't matter you know who you are you know whether you were born here or not uh, so many lives have been touched here and right there you know you ask yourself why are we not putting the same you know let's just duplicate it we don't even have to think about it you know let's just duplicate it and put these things in place for the 774 local government that we have you know in the federal republic of nigeria uh, so many people are working tirelessly you know to bring these beautiful um things to the to the to the people that really need them you know if you go around uh, you see that there's a lot of things that me and um, we're right at the backing and dagenham uh you know council uh you wonder uh if also the local government you know could have the same structure and help those around them or somewhere in a no good let's just take you a little bit hop and as you can see there and um, that is the structure and right there is a lot of work uh, you know be quite a lot of work uh, to help um, the people living right here in Bakin and Dagenham uh, once again uh, we will continue to bring you um, the best as is happening right here in United Kingdom and we're also going to bring you the best as is also happening by the time we get back to Nigeria but this is the council and uh, we will take you on a walk uh, as I'm making my way um, to get my uh, my boss home after a very beautiful event which now you can all watch you know, at your own convenient time it was the all women's network uh, continue as you can see um, you know we need this we definitely need this you know if we really have to make impact in the lives of people it's not just about policies writing all this just too much grammar is too you know I, I, I keep saying it, we have too many you know uh, <laughs> uh, people that can write you know but are we putting all these you know in place to make impact you know imagine this is a building controlling they know how many people live in this borough they know how many people are giving birth they know how many people are dying 
they know how many people are in the care home you know people that are in the mental home just name it you know you will it just makes you think you know when how why you know are we still lacking behind when it comes to helping you know those within all the 774 local government it makes you cry you know i just came back from nigeria and looking at this now you know you just wonder why can't we just you know put the same thing in place you know uh i was i won't mention the state i went to a particular state and the, you know the secretariat there doesn't even have electricity they don't have 24 hours electricity then how do you want to manage the people under you you know if your if your if your local government doesn't have full 24 hours electricity how can you manage you know the people in that state that's the question mark and i'm not talking about the local government i'm talking about a whole um, secretariat for that state you know i won't mention the name of the state but i'm sure um, those of you that have been following me will be able to pick that you know to understand what state was that it, it's just unimaginable you know thank you very much uh, yes we have the manpower <laughs> we are 185 million for god's sake you know we need we've got the manpower you know if you put 50 million people to start building you know all this infrastructure i can tell you in under one year you know all this stolen fund billions and billions in naira in dollars you know why can't we just replicate something like this invite the diaspora to come back home and work with the brilliant people that are already in nigeria and let's just just move the country forward for god's sake you know you go to enfield council you know they're working tirelessly you go to hackney you go to sodok you go to westminster you go, just name it we don't need to do anything that just copy it take a picture of this building bring the best of the architect build the same thing in one local government and replicate it in the whole 36, uh, you know, 36 states. It's just as simple as that. It doesn't take more than that. You know, this is a building, you know, the leader of the council was at that meeting uh, when we were having this uh, ne all network, you know. These are people that are working to make impact, real impact. But those back home, all they want to do is steal all the money, invite their own friends and family to come outside the country, take free medical, you know, I'm not sure whether a lot of you saw the video clips of the Ghanaian vice president walking on Oxford Circles, on Oxford Street, you know, uh, you know, because he was here on a medical trip. It just blew your mind up, you know. This is the vice president, you know, of Ghana. Thank you very much, uh, Stephanie Okafor. I'm just showing the beauty side of your, um, you know, that's an EK show there. Uh, they're just coming out as well. You know, these are powerful women. Uh, let me see if I can uh, catch up with, um, you know, some of them. You know, she's always ready to speak to me. Uh, I'm just showing my viewers, you know, the difference between the local government right here in United Kingdom and the one in Nigeria, you know, and asking yourself, Please don't go there. Don't I want to go, go, I want to go there. Go Why can't there. we replicate the same thing? We Why? Will. We can just copy this building, give an architect, and we got the manpower, I, I but why? Think, why I can't we have I, the same local government like this in, this, in of, Nigeria? No, 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 it's not a case of copying the building. We're not here to copy. We're here to. We should be there to create what is appropriate for the environment in which we live. Hmm. We need to have. I mean, it's not as if we don't have people that have the ideas. It's not as if we don't appreciate good things. I think it's a, a mindset. I keep saying that it's a change of mindset that flows from top to bottom, bottom back up again because our children are going to be doing exactly what we teach them, exactly what they see happening. And there is still this mindset of, when I get there, I will do, you know, do the same, same or, or get more or something. Yeah. I mean, I, I travel around England or the UK a lot, and I see things, and my first thought is, why isn't this in Nigeria? Why haven't we got this? You know, this would be so wonderful. But we will be able yeah. to, do you think in, in, in our lifetime, we will be able to sort out that why? Because W H Y, it's a it's three letter want, word. I, I don't want to sort out the why. I just want to do it yeah. because I think even you're, when you're talking about the why, 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 you're continuing to condemn. Mm. You're continuing to ask a question and have a discussion rather than an action. Mm. And I think it's just a case of this is what we need. Let us do it. It is time to make the. And, and you know what? Due to the current climate, I, I, I feel offended by the word change because the word change means it's become meaningless. So I don't like. To, we need to do something different mm. and do it differently.
Wow. Thank you very much. Um, that was EK Show. That was a very beautiful program on Sunday. Thank you very much. 9 p.m. I, 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 you I, know I, something? Yeah. We still need to understand that people are different, that there are issues of diversity in the country in which we live, and that because somebody is different to you doesn't mean that they are worse than you. Hmm. In our country, we have all nationalities people from different parts of the country they all bring something unique to the mix mm. I mean are you going to say that because um, my skin color is darker than you that I should be death dead put to death yeah. you know I mean so if somebody has a different belief they could be Sikh they could be Hindu they could, should yeah. they be put to death for that no. I mean these are things that happened during the you know first world war you know with the Nazis no. these are things that have happened even more recently now with ISIS and so on. People are doing a lot of things to each other. Um, and it's not necessary. Wow. Live and let live. That's it. You know, humanity. I have a wonderful man, the Prince Ezir, the yeah. He talks about humanity. Yeah. And that is where we should be moving towards. Right now. You know, you're a human. I don't see your color. I don't see your sexuality. I don't see your where you're from. You have eyes, your blood flows through your veins. And Let's work together, together to bring peace and the ultimate thing. All Women's Network, thank you very much for taking <laughs> your time. Thank you, sir. Well, thank you. you've had it there from the beautiful AK show. Once again, um, let me show myself. Uh, maybe I hope I've not milked this um, sound. Well, what more can I say? Uh, back in and Dagenham, do it. That's not asking why anymore. We just have to do it. And that's what uh, EK Show just told us there. We just have to do it and we must do it. And we must make it happen as um, I continue to show you um, the beautiful side of Bakin and Dagenham. Um, actually, um, heading towards my, uh, going to get my bus. I'm going towards Stratford. I'm sure um, a lot of my viewers uh, Stratford is one also very beautiful place well this is London as well we do have our own pickpocket rubbish but I can tell you this will be picked up um, before the end of today if you come back here definitely uh, it's just uh, there is a market here and it's an open uh, outdoor market where so many things uh, from food you know we also have you know let's take you around the market uh, this is now we show the market to you know and this is um you know back in and Dagenham market you know i can smell so many food there as you can see uh biryani chicken wow well all right let's um let's help a sister as we are showing life on facebook and if i want to come as you want about a business come on come on come on come on come on no. where is he well, we're trying to promote you now. Where she? I can't see her. After the next one. Okay. Well, the most important thing is um, our, our people find it difficult when you try to uh, promote their business, even though you're not getting paid for it. But that's just to show a car row, a bit where a on you, a car radio. Oh, you don't speak oh you're okay sorry about that uh, you know good afternoon uh i'm just showcasing the market to all my viewers on the, on facebook uh maybe you might want to tell them what you do maybe they might be able to know your location and come and patronize you okay well she's not interested in that well let's move to the next store and this is where a lot of our food as you can see you know uh from nigeria i can see i could share you know, that's a uh, Gari Jevu right there. Uh, we've got a uh, uh, We've got, um, you know, um, Schweppes, a lot of things from Nigeria. Uh, but the most important thing is uh, we need to continue to support, you know, and promote, you know, our business, our culture, wherever we are. Uh, Panla is there. But once again, this is, um, you know, back in and Dagina market where we are now. You know, living within a very, I mean, we've just come out from the uh, All Women's Network. As you can see, this is now the environment. I'm sure you've been listening to a lot of uh, Nigerian music there and wondering, are we in London? Yes, we are actually in London. Again, this is uh, another beautiful store there. Thank you very much. I can't say, you know, and that's for food there. 
uh, we've got cassava, we've got uh, beans, you know, name it. You know, if you're talking about African food, you'll definitely find it. When you come down, visit um, a lot of our, you know, Nigerian hardworking women, I call them, that are doing great things, you know, within not just the, you know, United Kingdom, but all over the world. I can see, you know, my beautiful sister I keep saying all the time, Okoli Oteri. Uh, she's working extremely hard, and one day I'll be bringing her life on Facebook. Uh, maybe when I'm in uh, Abuja, Abuja is just so expensive. I don't have money for Abuja yet, too. but I'm sure those living in Abuja knows how to manage. But like you see, you know, what more can we do in promoting our culture? You know, you can see it. You know, most of this stuff will have traveled as far as um, Nigeria as well. Uh, I'll let her finish. Maybe she might want to say one or two words to um, you know to those that want to know this location you know in case uh, you're looking for your ugu your f4 you know nigeria is blessed just name it we have everything but the most important thing is we need to continue to connect uh, with individuals as well how uh, you're back in my location maybe by look back in market okay if you're coming down she's actually opposite Iceland, make sure you patronize a sister, a mother, auntie, you know, doing very well right here in Bakimaka. So right now, as you can see, um, you know, we are, we are, just name it, you know, no matter where we are, we pull the strings. That's why they can say Nigerians are the best of whatever we do. We do it to our own, you know, look at the lady there, I'm sure, you know, she's, it's very cold. <laughs> I'm sure you can see everybody wearing jacket, but out of all the odds, they are still out here trying to make a big impact, trying to make a big difference. It is a big market, uh, but I'm not actually going that side. I will continue on my own pathway uh, right now again. Uh, we have, um, you know, the sister as well selling, you know, a food there as well. Uh, let's, uh, let's try and, uh, what kind of food are you selling, my sister? Why are you doing this? Well, I'm trying to promote you so that when people are coming here, I don't live here, but we've just come up from back in on the All Women's Network. So I'm now promoting, I'm promoting the culture, you know, of Batman and Dagenham and before I move back to Edmonton. What are we doing now? I'm Caribbean food. Caribbean food. And, she, and she's actually opposite the Super Glow. So when next year... Gifted and catering. When, and catering as well. You do, this is Gifted and catering. That's the name of the... Yeah, okay, gifted. gifted and catering. Uh, that's, you know, the rice beautiful and rice and peas and, peas and my oxtail as well. Chicken. Well, you've had it all there. So when next year in Backing and Dagenham, make sure you patronize the sister, you know, and I can smell the food. Thank you very much for joining us as well. The most important thing I can say is that a lot of hard-working women, you know, the meat, and that's the jack, jack, jack chicken there, as you can see there, right there. Uh, it is a very beautiful uh, afternoon. We've just come out from, you know, what is all about all women's network. But right now, again, as you can see, this is Parking and Dagenham. Uh, remember, we were showing you Oshodi. You can see this is a kind of different, you know, setting, different um, serene. Um, you can still listen to that, uh, you know, Nigerian music. Uh, that tells you, you know, Nigeria, we know they carry last two. Tell me about it. So, you know, we are just hardworking and the government really needs to engage with every one of us. Whether we are back home, whether we are here, the government must be told. Once again, from the beautiful town center of Bakin, I will be doing this by the time I start going to each of the states. You know, we hope to do the same thing as well. We will promote all the 70, 36 states and we will do as much as possible. But right now, uh, this is Bakin and Dagenham, as you've never seen before, for maybe some of my viewers that are not living in London. Uh, it is um, one love from me and I will be back again at one point or the other later and I can tell you there's a lot happening. Uh, once again, thank you very much, um, Aden Doyon. You know, really appreciate you all the time. It is all the way from Bakin and Dagenham. Olayomi Koiki.